welcome to this video. My name is Nina and in today's video we are going to be building a wildlife sanctuary. Now as you can see we are standing right in front of Tuesday's video. So this is the sunken forest that we created. It's a little lookout and the area that we will be working in today is actually right off to the left from it. Now we have this huge block of terraforming which is all the way up on the second level and back here we have Kelly's little house and let me actually start and plan out my trees while I'm explaining what this whole build idea is actually supposed to represent or look like. <laughs> okay so my idea for this whole island was as you probably know to be an enchanted fairy woodland kind of. I imagine that the fairies would have like different jobs and different parts of the island that would be under their care. So different fairies would be caretakers of different areas. And I also thought that it would be so cute to have the fairies take care of some animals. So this is actually just what this is supposed to be. So we are going to be creating like a little forest square. I'm not sure if we will be including some like a little pond, some, some waterscaping or so. This is going to be very foresty and then we will have a very foresty pathway leading all the way up to Kelly's house who will be the caretaker of the animals. Yeah so I thought that I kind of prepped this little area here because I wanted to have this cliff tree there just because I didn't want to waste too much space because we are actually going to be creating a little yeah, kind of stable-ish area right here where the fairy would keep all the stuff that she would need for... Okay, thank you for that quick intermission. We love that. <laughs> okay, so stable. Yeah, I did download some face cutout standees and also some designs that I already customized some stores and simple panels with and all of my codes are in my video description so you can check them out if you want. So yeah let me actually just lay down some custom designs just so that we can get a rough idea how big this is going to be and I think the whole shed like the garden shed stable thing is four tiles wide if i am not mistaken okay so let's just leave it like that for now because i don't think that we need to put anything here because this will be completely hidden first thing we need to put down the simple panels which i customized to this blue just so that we can kind of cover up the hole that the stalls and the face cutout sundies will leave and so that it actually looks closed off and like an actual building kind of because i'm not the best i'm not the biggest pro at like fake buildings and animal crossing you know okay okay very cute and then i thought i would just slap the face cutout sundies in front of it. This is kind of like the whole concept that has been all over social media that people have been using for the, um, what are they called? The camper vans. So this is basically the same thing, just that it's not a camper van, but a garden shed. Yeah, look, that's very cute. Initially, I wanted this to be five tiles wide, just so that it would make sense that the door is like right in the middle of the shed. But uh, I don't have half a stall and six will be way too wide so i think this will do yeah look oh that's actually looking kind of cool I, I actually i don't have much of a plan for this except for this thing that i just did so everything that's coming now i have absolutely no idea um but what i do know is that i don't like this bush right here and I think I want to have a tree somewhere around here to kind of cover this very awkward edge. And I want to also put one here. I think I want this to be very enclosed so that we have like a crossroad in the forest where all the animals gather to like drink and get some snacks, you know. And I think I want to layer the trees so that they get taller towards the foresty walkway. Oh, actually, let me 
grab my daily bag of belts. Okay, so that's good for now. So I kind of need to start thinking about the animals. So let me actually grab them, stuff them all into my pockets because we all know that's how animals work, you know? And I think I want to start creating kind of a centerpiece where we can then plop the animals around. So let me just start to lay down like a circle and then we can actually start creating <laughs> the centerpiece already. <laughs> so final middle part middle piece not middle part what the f am i saying <laughs> okay so brick well let me just fix this bar thing up a little bit because we ruined it earlier and by we i obviously mean all of us barrel Ooh. I just don't love the gray and the dark wood, but I guess it works fine because of the trees. Like the trunks of the trees kind of have the same wood color as the dark wood items. I think we will have a flower here then. Okay, so pathing here. <clears throat> I initially wanted there to be a garden faucet, but you won't even be able to see it. So maybe we can have another barrel in here to like densen up this area. Oh, maybe we can have a horse in here. Would that be cute? No. Sweetie. Oh yeah, that's kind of cute. Kind of want to hide the under part of it. So we need to put something here. A tiny item here and then another flower right here. This. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Honey, no. Oh, actually, I think I do like that. This one will be a yellow flower. This one will be a white flower and then we have a dropped item here. Yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a bunch of bushes. I think I may need to start adding in some of the animals very soon just to make sure that we can actually fit them. Um, but I think I want to have a little dropped item here as I just said. I'm not sure what I will put it on so maybe just a water puddle because it's right next to uh, the brick well and we all know how much I love my water puddles. Oh, I also have a hand cart. I kind of forgot about that. I kind of want the more civilized item to be really focused in the upper right hand corner of this build and not in this corner because I want this to look like it's just straight forest even though we can all see that it's like right next to the ocean but we will just ignore that and I think I will try to kind of block it off so that you can't go further than here and won't see that it's the ocean. I think I want to have a green mum here. Yes, cute. I think a hay bed would be okay. The bush here. And then the hay bed. <laughs> you have probably noticed that my in all of my designs, I very rarely layer things like straight in front of each other. I most of the times try to layer them so that they are offset from each other. So as you can see, for example, I don't have these two items layer right in front of each other, but I have them offset and really make use of the half tiles, as I just said. I really try to do that to make things look a lot more natural. Um, okay. This is not working, so we love to dig up some trees to just move something by half a tile. We just, we love that. Okay, I think I want a bucket here actually, so let me grab my water puddle. <laughs> I'm sorry if I keep lowering my voice at some points. I'm not doing that on purpose, I kind of just do that because I forget. <laughs> Then I need to talk at a decent volume for, for you to understand what I'm saying. But I hope that this is uh, watchable and uh, listenable. <laughs> Actually, let me place some more animals. Okay, so this is going to be a horse, I think. And layer them offset from each other. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. that's looking kind of cute. I'm still unsure whether I want to stay in summer or spring. And I really, at this point, this is all very much only up to the weeds. <laughs> and this will be a pumpkin sprout. And I think this one here needs to be something yellow. Did I really just squeeze through there, even though I could have just... The brain is such a complex thing. 
Oh, but I wanted something yellow. Wow. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. I didn't even place anything, and I'm like, cute, cute, cute. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> then another bush. Yeah, so that feels very foresty then. And you can't look out onto the ocean. I think before I actually finish and upload my dream address and stuff, whenever I finish this island, I will definitely need to go in and like exchange some bushes and stuff so yeah and i really like to have like bush variety <laughs> because it just feels more natural you know okay i like that okay so i'm thinking let me actually pick up this barrel so that we can have a little beekeeper's hive in there and then i want to have the barrel in front of it and then another one or two beekeeper's hives i think i want one in here and one he oh yeah, perfect. The flower murdering sash is continuing in this build, apparently. Did I customize two to the white version? Because I really hope I did, because then that would... Yes, perfect. Oh yeah, I really like that. I would prefer it if the rodeo springy... Springy magics... Let, I will just call them wobbly horses. <laughs> I would prefer if the wobbly horses didn't have the red saddles, but there's also some red in the garden shed design and the dark wood of the cedars is also kind of reddish. Me convincing myself that red works with my eyes. No. Good thing I brought another shovel because I am such a professional killing my flowers. So let's just use some more trees. I kind of want to have a small young cedar here so that it won't block the view if we have a pond. Oh, actually, let me terraform the pond first, maybe, <laughs> if we're actually going to have one. And I would love to have more croppy snacks, but I don't have any amiibos for the Sanrio villagers. So unfortunately, I can't get any croppy snacks. So that would be very cute if we could put a frog pond here. But we need to make do and do a little duck pond which is really not that bad because if you have seen any of my builds, you know how many times I have already done duck ponds and I love them because I use the duckies all over my island. Okay, so we, oh no, but then I can't put a tree there. I mean, this could work if we put a flower here. This might not be too apparent. Okay, so we will need to throw some more trees around. <laughs> That's not enough for my liking. Oh, and we can have the small young cedar here. And that might cover it up. Oh no, it doesn't, but that's it's fine, we deal. And then this is going to be a water puddle with, you are correct, you are very much correct, a little duck. Yes. Because this is Duck Island. Welcome to Duck. Wait. <laughs> Do I not have any more? Okay, well, I need to grab one then. That is fine. I will gladly run for the duck. Okay, so I kind of want to have a little group of items here. We will have a Zen cushion there. And I think I will have another mushroom around here somewhere. But I don't think I will decorate this little cliff fully just because I'm not sure what Kelly's house will look like and I kind of want the two to tie in with each other. Okay, so we have another animal. So I think that's very cute. Also another topic that has kind of been going around my head lately is the thought or the idea of getting a second switch like a switch light just be for like money purposes because i don't want to buy another full-size switch and also for that reason that i could then have an island that would kind of be just for myself because as i mentioned in a couple of my videos already i do really enjoy doing this and also building this island but I can get kind of carried away and go a bit hard on my island and like finish it in like a month or so and I kind of then try to hold it back because I want to make videos out of it and I also don't want them to be like a month old when I upload them so I kind of need to pace myself and slow down, take my time and be like Nina, you already recorded two videos today, just slow down. <laughs> you can't post them all at the same time, you need to edit them and you don't have time to upload every day because you still have a job 
<laughs> yeah, so I kind of have been thinking about getting a second switch, like a switch light, to like live out that urge to create and create and create on there, and then I can still like show you the final thing and tour it via dream, uh, yeah, dream address or like visiting myself. So maybe if you have any suggestions or thoughts on that, feel very much free to share them in the comment section down below because I'm very unsure. And also I could then test out some themes and builds and see what I like and what I don't like for like the next island or the next build without having to build something thing twice and like tear it down again if I don't want to uh, so yeah and also if my next island would be more urban then I would still have the opportunity to have like a more natural island on my second switch that I keep for myself so that I can like build my forests on there and <laughs> show you something new for a change and then the next island can be something natural again you know so um, please feel free to share that in the comments down below because I'm very interested to see or hear what you would think of that okay so now i think i only have some more flower placing to do and then slap the rest of the ducks somewhere sprinkle in some more custom designs and little details and then i think that's it for today so let me actually do that and then i will come back to you guys to show you the finished product <laughs> i don't know why i started there Alrighty, so that's actually it so let me give you a final walkthrough so if we come up this incline we go past the little lookout we have this little shed and then we have the little animal gathering with a little brick well in the middle and then we have this tiny little beekeeper's hive area <laughs> like the little apiary if you will and then if we go back here we have this little duck pond and then we will continue decorating around kelly's area very soon hopefully so yeah that's it for today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel i would love to have you here yeah take care of yourself until next time and bye bye